Hello, um, I'm Simon Carley. I'm down here at the College of Emergency Medicine conference in Exeter having a fantastic time. I've just done a session on Gestalt, so Gestalt and clinical judgments in emergency medicine. And there were three things that I wanted to get across in that talk. The first thing I wanted to talk about was that as emergency physicians, we should really be aspiring to be excellent. We should be better than just adequate. We should be better than just getting through exams, but we should try the best we can to do the most we can about understanding how we practice medicine. And the theme of the talk was very much about our ability to think, our cognitive abilities and our metacognition. And I don't think we've spent enough time as clinicians and as trainers and as trainees understanding that the way that we think, the way that we make decisions, the way that we handle data is incredibly important to the decisions we make about our patients. If we look at really masterful emergency physicians, they're very, very good at thinking. They make good decisions on limited information in time critical information light situations. And we talked about a number of different models of how that thinking takes place. We talked about Dan Carman and System 1 and System 2 thinking. But more than that, we talked about how we perceive things in clinical medicine, which we perhaps don't realise. So we recognise as an experienced clinician things like sweating, facial, po facial position, posture, attitudinal things, how people blink, the movement of patients. And we're when we're seeing patients, we're making good decisions. We take all of these things on board, but we don't necessarily explicitly process them. But masterly emergency physicians do. And we talked about how that's valuable to make good decisions in time critical situations. The third part we talked about in the, talk, in the lecture was about education. Because if we do think these things are important, how do we teach it? Is it just something we need to spend years and years and years acquiring the skills for? Well, we could do that, and that's what's happened in the past. But we also need to think about if there are specific tasks that we can do. So I talked about different exercises. So can we change the way that we talk about cases, talk about them in a narrative way, and explore what people were thinking about when they made decisions, not just what the decisions were? So never ask a question, was that the right decision? Ask the question, was that the right decision to make at the time with the information that you had? We talked about some other exercises where you can go in and see patients, not talk to them, not look at their notes, but just experience, smell, see, hear, observe, and so that you can learn to understand and value the clinical signs which are sometimes not recorded in objective, objective data scoring systems. So those were the three things I wanted to get across in the talk. I think it was a bit different to most of the talks here at the conference, which are largely around scientific things and lots of numbers. Mine was mostly about feeling. But I am a true believer that if we're going to be masterly emergency physicians, we need to understand a lot about ourselves, a lot about the way that we think. And it's only by understanding the way we think and sharing those thoughts with our colleagues, our trainers and our trainees that we will develop to be great emergency physicians. Thank you.